Oh, and we are back. Thank you again for your patience as we suffer through all these commercial breaks. We're back. I'm playing some more Baldur's Gate 3 with Drizzle, our deep gnome ranger thief. Taking a look back here in the chat. Which which they made look almost exactly like Ian McKellen. <laughs> um, I would argue that Ian McKellen probably looks like Alminster. Elminster's been around since what? Seventies? When when was the Forgotten Realms released? Actually, no, in the eighties. Because yeah, it's it's somewhere in the eighties, early eighties, mid eighties. So it's a bit older, and of course, Elminster's actually uh, probably based off of classic uh, classic Merlin stuff. Let's hit the save quick save button real quick before we continue. I think some proper introductions are in order. Meet Elminster Ormar, a good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me gail you know of whom i speak but why out with it elminster please young man has your sojourn away from waterty washed away your decorum as well as your patience nigh a ten day i've gone without honest fare worthy of the name drank naught but what the sky entitled my thirst why some bread cheese and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before i get out with it <laughs> uh, i admit i dislike a lot of the official npcs of the realm hockey what about like people like larlock there, there's a whole lot of really nice evil npcs Although they get they get written pretty shittily. Thank you for the follow, Ghostly Pagan. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate your follow. Welcome. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the chill vibe. Cough, cough. Yes, Gail. Where is your decorum? I suppose we could part with a few of our ration. Let's give him a little bit of food. Kindness that would be. See, Gail. Even in these barren parts, Sea the Gale. hospitality of the Geds inspired new works. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of... Uh, well, this way, then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. The best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its rumbling. Very well. I suppose I'm as curious to as... Sorry, I'm as curious as you are to hear what he has to say. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. <laughs> What a delightful wedge of old Anthurium that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? The guy is Elminster. hungry. <laughs> right. Um, you see, I um, well, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here. On behalf of Mistra, the message and the charge I bring you are hers. 
Jesus. Yeah. Definitely Ed Greenwood was definitely channeling Gandalf. Very much so. You were sent here as an actual divine messenger. I'm surprised she sent you in the first place after Gale's debacle. <laughs> what message and what charge would that be? Speak fast, then, for none of this pertains to me. Wow. <laughs> Uh, okay, you were sent here as an actual divine messenger. Yeah, Mistra sends Elminster around like this, like her little bitch. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra will consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. That's Mr. is aware that's of evasive. the adventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. I wish we could pickpocket his old ass. I bet even his soiled underpart pants are artifact level. Um, about that, at some points in the lore, in, in Elminster's lore, El like, Mistra actually just gave him the job of going to various dungeons and areas and planting magical items everywhere. That was his job, was running around just planting magical items in dungeons and shit. It's kind of like the, um, have you, have you ever seen that show on TV, Storage Wars? Where they uh, they bid on like storage containers and stuff, and then they get you know they don't know what's in the storage container and they they you know different people bid on different ones and at the end of the show they they you know they look inside the containers and each each group you know tallies how much profit they've made. It's basically like that because the producers of that show would actually go into those containers and plant stuff, sometimes expensive stuff. Yeah, he's an Easter bunny. Literally, he's an Easter bunny. His, his job in the realms was to just plant magical stuff everywhere. And, well, you know, since he was serving as chosen of the goddess of magic, promulgating magic across the Forgotten Realms is, is you know, part and parcel of it. Okay. If the goddess herself is aware, I would say no to some... I wouldn't say no to some divine intervention. Even if the gods know, why are we facing these threats alone? If even the gods know. You wouldn't happen to know of a cure, would you? Some all-powerful parasite withering spell, perhaps? Ask her with, uh, if the goddess herself is aware, I wouldn't say no to some divine intervention. The very purpose of my presence. In a roundabout sort of way. Yeah, nice. You must know. That the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Gale alone? How so? Or Mistress mistaken, I will be the Absolute's destroyer. Hogwash. Idle beliefs and false hopes. Gale alone? How so? Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find 
the heart of the absolute. Whatever that may be. And use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. Find the heart of the absolute. That's monstrous. You're tasking him to kill himself. Use yourself as a catalyst. Oh, that's, uh, that's not good. God of magic needs to be purely neutral and she was denying evil spellcasters magic. Um, so the first Mistra, Mistral, was chaotic neutral. The second Mistra was lawful neutral. Midnight was chaotic good, I believe. But she was the... Um, although she was the goddess of magic, she was not the goddess of wizards. That would be Azuth. Mistra was the goddess of sorcerers. And I do believe she did... Like, she just uh, didn't respond to evil clerics of her kind. She didn't have an issue with evil spellcasters per se. I think that was more Shar going into and creating the Shadow Weave. That's like we're talking third edition there. Neutral was she neutral good? Are you sure she wasn't chaotic? She had, she definitely had some chaotic tendencies. So what's what's the new Mistra then? Isn't the new one? I haven't read the like the latest latest books. I know she got resurrected. El Minister managed to get her resurrected. Isn't it just the resurrection of Mistra, or is it a completely new personality? And is she true neutral now? That's monstrous. You're tasking him to kill himself. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend, but such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute, and for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was made of. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself, and I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. Mistral was male originally, are you sure? Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas. That's a bit of obscure obscure lore. Gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet a notion born in lonely hours. Come ebb, come flow. Come, all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate oh dear. break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Oof. Yep, <laughs> I'm wondering if they got Ed Greenwood to to make the those lines for Elminster because uh, that was very verbose and Ed Greenwood is uh, 
he can go on. <laughs> if you've ever, if you've read some of his books, you know Ed Greenwood could go on and on. An audience with Elminster is never less. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances, but those are hard to come by these days. I always imagined Elminster to be more imposing. An old man with craving for cheese. Hardly a great wizard of legend. He didn't seem much of a friend showing up and demanding you kill yourself. Actually, I was hoping to talk about something else. Uh, let's go with I always imagined Elminster to be more imposing. The doddering act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps in existence. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. And it's a strange feeling. To realize how little of it one might have left. You're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted. The absolute will be gone. And I along with it. I don't understand. Can't Mr. just destroy the Absolute or El Elminster himself? No doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. There, there is surely another way. Was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. I'll make sure we find it, Gail, I promise. Hmm. Then I suppose there is nothing more to be... So Elminster is actually not the most powerful wizard in the Forgotten Realm. Probably the most famous. Uh, there are others, hell, even like Kelvin Aronson Blackstaff was more powerful than him. Uh, the the seven sisters several of them were significantly more powerful than him the symbol could flatten him easily easily um you have you have a, a bunch of dragon spellcasters or dragons who are spellcasters and they are pretty much at near godhood level like just bar barely a half step away from being deities themselves and you have Larlock, the Lich, who arguably would be the most powerful spellcaster in the realms. He is so powerful that um, Mistra, actually more than one version of Mistra, used to go and like ask him for advice about magic. That's how powerful he is. The goddess of magic would come and say, hey, uh, can you help me out with this spell? And there, of course there are others that are hidden. Uh, like Ma the mad one, that, the one who created the Undermountain in Waterdeep. That's also a stupidly crazy wizard. Also a follower of Mistra. All right, I think we're done with this part here. And let's head back to what we were doing. was heading out. A 
Let's read the orders. I've been given the crucial task to clear the entrance to Grimforge. Grimforge for further expedition. True soul Neri will follow once the entrance is cleared. As I make my way to the entrance, I can't help feel excitement. What m might we find here? The Catharic created so long ago, now sealed by the curse. Grimforge could hold untold treasures for my absolute uses. I will continue to explore and document my findings. The entrance is currently blocked by vines and rubble. Quite cursed. Explosives ought to do the job, though I'm not as experienced in such matters as I wish to be. Set up the explosive with care, though I admit I am almost afraid to detonate them. There's no telling what power these cursed vines hold, what might, what might lie beyond, or whether I have set, even set things up correctly. Scroll of Holt Monster. Nice. So he, he blew the door and managed to kill himself in the process. Unfortunate for him. Domain ensconced in shadow curse. That's quite the enchantment. Those shadows. There's power coursing through them. Oddly familiar. We better stay on alert. Even in the underdark, I never saw gloom like this. Moonrise Towers lies ahead. We must venture on. Larlock is the only Arcanist still alive. He retains the ability to create 10th level spells and mythals. He's not good aligned. He's definitely not a good aligned, though. Very well. Technically, Elminster could create a mythal as well as several of the. a couple of the Seven Sisters. And of course, the Elves. The Elves, of course, can always create mythals. If they ever, like, decide to get off their island. This place. There's a power in these shadows. I can sense it. It's ancient. I accidentally clicked on her. Do we just walk through? A shadow curse is a powerful threat that lurks and devours in the darkness. Surround yourself with light to avoid its most lethal effects. Let's back up here. There's something attacking us. I think something is attacking. An elemental's turn? I don't have any light spells. Environmental turn. Okay. How do I turn on my torch? Okay, that's how we do it. Do I have more torches? I do. Ah, 
Uh, she has it. And so we don't need to give her uh, a, a torch. has to cast it on an item. My faith will guide me. Is that blood? No, never mind. The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. First time I've been out of my element in the dark. This is no cavern. This is true darkness. Perhaps Lady Shah will show you a path to her embrace if you are worthy. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justice here, perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. We'll keep an eye out for your temple. I don't know which way to go, so we're just going to take a random direction. This place is... There's a brazier here. Harpers? Harpers? Let's save. Can we get down there? Yes, we can. Come, let's go talk to the Harpers. Hey, Harpers. Stay together. Keep to the light. Oh, this is not going to end well for them, it looks like. Stop! Who's there? Let's see. Lower your weapons first. My name is Drizzle. A nightmare in the dark, or we go Ranger or Rogue? We're going to go Ranger here. A Ranger who knows the mark of a hunting party. What are you tracking? It'll be you unless you show yourself. Come out, slowly. Eunice, move in. Get into the light, buddy. No, no. Taken by shadows. Oh, no. He's already gone, dude. Follow my voice. 
This music during the scene. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize. I'm gonna play a Paladin of Saloon next playthrough just to fuck with Shadowheart. Uh, apparently, you can romance her as a Paladin of Saloon. Ranger, I think we've just become prey. Stick together, stay in the light. No heroics. Harpus, you heard the man. Two arms. Oh, that's a shit ton of shadows. Okay. That is is not good. Is not good. Um, let's see. Weakness to radiance. Acid, thunder, fire, lightning resistance, slashing, piercing, bludgeoning. So pretty much light is the only thing. They don't have, they do have poison resistance. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I don't have a lot of light spells here. Netherese Orb Blast. Destroying everything and everyone in a wide radiance. Wow, okay. So, why did you get a suicide button? <laughs> wow, okay. Let's do... Second level. No. Where where is the where is that guy that we're fighting? Harper Jonas is right in the center. Gonna move you forward a little bit. That's an end my campaign button. <laughs> what for having a paladin of saloon seduce uh, Shadowheart? I, I suppose you could consider it that way. Uh, let's see. How far can I move? Not very. Okay, because that guy's in the way. Sometimes the only way out is through. Need to stay focused. Indeed, people are in the way. So, what I will do is I will cast. That's an action. That's an action. Wait, did I hit Necro? Ah, shit. I pressed the wrong button. Cast the wrong spell. <laughs> Putting Necro, it's gonna, it's gonna heal them. <laughs> uh oh. I had to make it more difficult for itself. Yeah, we gotta make sure we don't press the accidental make Gale explode button. Again, the super slow load screen. It sits there at a hundred percent for a while. Best be on my way. Let's 
Stick, stop! Who's there? It'll be you and me. Succeeded in per perception. Jonas, move in. Do it a little bit better this time. How far can we move her forward? Pretty far. Jump over here. Oh, yeah, that does a shit ton of damage to them. Nice. This is force damage. There we go. Now, this guy just went invisible. Saved. <laughs> Saw you. No, Gale. Broke the concentration before I could even use it. That's shitty. Why are you missing so many things here? had more buttons on her thing. Oh, that does radiant fire. enough. And we'll do the, the nice thing next time. The smite. Oh, I do have another attack, though. Let's get it. That's a critical. Didn't do much damage, though. Did your attacks? Who is this guy? Harper Carol, all right. Quit thinking about it and just do your shit. These guys are not going to survive. And I hate how long it takes for them to finish taking their... I guess... <laughs> I guess they're uh, channeling... Those D and D players that take half an hour to take their turns.
Come on, Lysandra, finish this off. It's my turn, maybe? can't move so I'll be my last second level slot let's move, just move you away from those guys oh that is hurting a lot So many of them. We're waiting for them to ah uh, to finish their decide their turn. There's not much left. This guy's right up on me. That's a, a, quite a bit of damage, and I have no bonus actions. Critical miss, no, no. It's almost two with one shot. Don't have any radiant on him. should still be enough. I should have raged, by the way. Not enough action. I can still rage. There's still two more, it looks like. action I 
have another bonus action. forward a bit. There's another one here somewhere, and I can't see him because he's invisible. Miss. Dead. Okay. Let's do a quick mass heal. Do a big heal on Drizzle, maybe. Take you. The rough tempest I will raise. Let's, Let's right down. in here, into the light, and then let them come to us. And that was coming to us, so... Move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. Safe place, you mean somewhere the shadows can't penetrate? That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper, you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Harpers, move out! The image of an orange-haired cat asleep before a fireplace comes to you. What came of it? had dreams of boarding a ship in Baldur's Gate and seeing the world. But then the darkness came. Hmm. Harper Jonas, do you have anything interesting? Just a bit of gold. So where did she tell us to go to? Over there. Protection from the Shadow Curse. Never wanted the easy path. Let's get going. We have a quick heal. Pushing on. Don't mind if I do. Alt Lexington with a raid. Alt, how you doing, buddy? It's been a while since I last saw you. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, everyone, coming in with Alt Lexington's stream. A Ginger's POV. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, everyone. I am the Low Life Cat. Let me switch to a. Uh... Haha, there we go. I am the Low Life Cat. I'm also known as the Sarcasm Detector on YouTube. And I am a cat, as you can clearly see. Very feline. I am a variety streamer, and today we are just playing some Baldur's Gate 3. With this little guy here. A deep gnome. Ranger. Rogue. So far, level 5. Making our way to level 6, we just entered the uh, 
I think we just started to act two. How you doing? Hope you are still running the world from the shadows. Of course, of course. Of course, that's what us cats do, you know? How you doing? Uh, I, were you playing Star Trek Online? I'm going to hazard a guess you were playing Star Trek Online. Have you tried this game yet? We need to find a safe spot. What's up here? Wooden trunk. There's nothing. May the darkness protect you. I accidentally clicked on that. Yes, I was flying the D7 Miracle Worker for the first time. Awesome ship. What do you mean the first time? You have every single ship, and every time you stream, you're on a different ship. You have more ships than people have underwear. Dead birds been corrupted by the shadows. Would be wise to leave it alone. Uh, maybe it would have been a... Oh, boy. These are all level ones. Yep. <laughs> that was a mistake. I got it Friday and I can't put it down. What the ship? He definitely has more ships than I have underwear. Yeah. I think he has more ships than all of us underwear combined put together. <laughs> all right. So we're going to have to... Oh boy. And I don't have Spirit Guardians anymore. I use that spell. These guys hit hard for the amount of HP they have. We're being flocked. Oh, oh. I don't have a good multi attack, I don't have a good area of effect. Go here. She's done. Magic missile. I cast magic missile into the darkness. That's done. have three attacks that I can do. Alright, we're almost done. Three more left. And you used to have a sweep attack. What happened to your sweep attack? Managed to kill her, you bitch. Where's my help people out thing? Hey, I guess we'll just res him. Res me.
give you a, a buff as well. A little bit of healing. So you don't immediately die. That's a bit of XP. There's a note. Let's read this real quick. Help, but darkness has rolled into Wraithwind, cutting us off on all sides. We've sent people through, but no one can make it more than a few steps. The words are obscured by drops of blood. This letter is our last hope. Send help, anyone, from anywhere, I beg you. I will renounce Our Lady Loss and kiss the Moon Maiden's feet, if that's what it takes. Just don't let the darkness take us. Ay ay ay. How close are we to the... Not close enough yet. Just still trying to get away from here. Ah, oh, finally. Something must be keeping it at bay. Whoosh. You there. Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. He's with me. I'm playing solo at the moment. But there is a multiplayer option to this. If you like D&D, this is the game for you. Oh, is she also dual wielding sabers? Oh yes, she does. And she's got some nice sabers. I want, I want those weapons. Can we kill her and take them? High-level ranger. Ranger, usually I'm not the one in the snare. Mind releasing me. Cats need claws. <laughs> Nervous. I have an inkling of reason to be. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Look at the harpers you saved. Stop! What are you doing? He's the one who saved us! He's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet too. Pretty much trust him with my life. A true soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? Show her the artifact. What 
Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? To destroy the Absolute in its lair, Moonrise Towers. I want a cure for the parasites in my head. Moonrise Towers is my only lead. I'll go with two. Then our interests align. We must all cure ourselves. Nice. Of the entire cult of the Absolute. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Nice. Who's Damon? Let's save this. And we unfortunately are actually at the end of the stream. We've been going for about three hours. And um, I'm cutting it a bit short now because I'm probably going to do a World of Warcraft stream a little bit later on in the day. Probably in a few hours after lunch or so. Um, this was supposed to be yesterday's stream. We did it in the morning. <laughs> hey, I got to stream more in the morning. It's fun. I like you guys hanging out with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves here the past few hours. Um, consider maybe hitting that follow button or subscribing over on the YouTube side because I do have the channel over there. It's usually very active. Um, I'm actually expecting it to be very active today, uh, considering some new stuff is coming out on World of Warcraft. I will be back again, like I said, later on today with some World of Warcraft, and I will be doing, of course, more Baldur's Gate throughout the week, during, uh, usually during the afternoon, but if these morning streams are so good, then we might actually swap over and do some morning streams as well. Hopefully you guys had a good time. Let me find you guys someone to raid yeah. who is on no one is really on I can send you over to oh, I don't know I don't know this person all right well there's no one on <laughs> So that's unfortunate. So we're just going to end it here. Hmm. I feel bad about that. Anyways, have yourselves a good night, everyone. Amaranth? I, I don't know who that is. As if it's like a really huge streamer, then it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, like, rating a, a huge streamer with, like, a, when you're a tiny person. Anyways, have yourselves a good night, guys. I'll catch you again very soon later on today and tomorrow. Stick around. I love you very much. Have yourselves a good week. This is a Low Life Cat signing out.